What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over probably the most infamous firearm in movie culture, uh, the Beretta 92. This one is the 92X Performance. Very beautiful firearm, arguably my most favorite firearm in movie history. All right, if you guys are new to the channel, please do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe. That's how I keep pushing out content. So without further ado, let's get into it. The so Beretta has been around for quite some time. If you guys have been staying tuned to the channel, you guys know I did a review on the Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol. This is my first pistol that I'm reviewing. Not my first Beretta, I've had the 92FS and I've had the M9A1. So this is the first performance Beretta I've ever owned and I can say I am very, very happy with it. This finish is quite beautiful. Uh, the trigger is amazing on this gun. This is the non-optics ready version, unfortunately. When I bought it, I hadn't really been introduced to the world of optics yet, and that's something that I wish I would have done differently, but I'm very happy with this gun as it is. Um, reason I have this on here is because I've been running competitions with it, so it's easier to holster in the uh, Blackhawk Omnivore that I'm running. So, let's talk about specifications. Start off the bat, 15 rounds carrying capacity. Um, overall weight is about 47 ounces, overall length almost 9 inches. Um, this is not the optics ready version unfortunately. Steel frame, uh, double and single action. So with iron sights you've got blacked out rears with a fiber optic red in the front. Hope the camera's picking that up there. Uh, on the bottom you've got a Picatinny mount for light and uh, any type of laser attachments. In this case, I have the adapter for the Blackhawk Omnivore holster that I was telling you guys about. That just locks in on that holster, hosts about 350 guns. So in case you guys were looking for a holster that might be able to host something a little bit out of the ordinary, that's an option for you guys. Also have the frame mounted safety, so no, safe, or no decocker on this. This Beretta has the performance trigger in here, super short reset, uh, awesome, awesome break on it. Um, it does come with two grips, uh, one that wraps all the way around the frame, one, the other set are both side mounting grips that screw in on the side. So you have that option there. Um, the back texturing on this is a little aggressive. That's why I have some tactical tape on there so it feels a little bit better in my hand. So this bread also has a super awesome stainless steel looking kind of finish to it. It's almost got like a copper tint to it and it looks very, very good on this gun. Um, this is arguably the prettiest bread I've ever seen. I know they make them in gold and all these other types of finishes, but this just, it looks so clean. Um, reliability is gun has proven to be very reliable with the exception of Winchester white box ammo and that in itself says enough, but everything else has cycled fine with it. It's very, very low recoil, uh, great follow-up shots, super quick double taps. Awesome competition pistol. I wish that there was optics ready on this model because I would put a, tr a Trigicon RMR on it probably and run the hell out of it. Uh, Lock Grips makes a pretty sweet aftermarket grip uh, handles for these guns. Um, so if you guys ever grab one of these, I would definitely check their grips out. Um, tolerances between the slide and the frame are pretty good. Not much wiggle room in there. Uh, basic Beretta takedown, drop the mag. So, box slide back, takedown lever. You have to push the button on this other side, flip it forward, drop your slide, and then you separate your upper slide and your frame. Uh, mine's getting a little bit dirty because I've been running it lately, but this gun needs to stay fairly well oiled in order to run properly. All right, I'm not gonna do an unboxing because I don't have anywhere to hold the camera and do both hands at the same time. So this is the case you get, briefcase with a lock on it, pretty sweet case from Beretta. Comes with the extra grips and the extra magazine as I mentioned before. All right, so just wanna do a quick comparison of the Berettas, the OG 92 and the 92X Performance. So this is the all black one and I can honestly say the 92 is about half the weight of the 92X Performance. This is a heavy bitch right here, um, but the weight, is what's so important when it comes to competition shooting. Keeps that slide real low. Uh, not a whole lot of recoil impulse. Really not much with this one either, but they still do about the same. So what I really wanna show you guys is the trigger difference. 
So with OG Beretta, you have the decocker on the slide with the safety on the slide as well. 92X Performance is a frame mounted safety. So overall trigger of the Beretta 92, a little bit heavier of a trigger, much longer reset. So that's about double to triple the reset of the 92X Performance. Weight is a little bit heavier or lighter as well. Um, let's go over the double action trigger too. Much heavier than the Beretta 92X Performance. So performance, even empty without a mag, is double the weight, much crisper trigger brake, micro reset, um, and then obviously double action is pretty, pretty light trigger too. Uh, this has got the skeletonized hammer on it, by the way, whereas the original Beretta has pretty much a full hammer with just that little hole in it. Uh, but you do have the decocker on the original Beretta 92. So this is a more screen accurate uh, Beretta from the movies, but the 92X Performance is just a sexy gun. You can't you can't lie, it's pretty, pretty good looking. Um, but you can't go wrong with a good old Beretta, man. The, the OG one does not have night sights, it's just the painted three dots on there. Uh, no Picatinny rail on this one either, so you don't have the option for flashlights or anything like that. This one is lacking front serrations on the slide, whereas the Beretta 92X has them on the front and the back, so a little bit easier to rack the slide. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Carrying, hell yeah, I carry. I carry at work sometimes. I'll use the shoulder holster and, you know, have it tucked in there. Obviously, it's not going to go in there with the little adapter I have on there for the competition holster that I'm using. But other than that, it fits in pretty smoothly. Uh, I got this holster off Amazon. It's actually pretty expensive. It's over 200 bucks, but it's pretty nice. Uh, tucks the gun, pointed down. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, this barrel's pointing at me if it's in the holster this way. But that's why I just suckered up and got this one. I didn't want to hear anybody's mouth. But overall, I really love this gun. Probably one of my favorite pistols that I've ever bought. Um, looks super clean. Get tons of compliments on this gun all the time. Everybody loves it. I've had a couple people shoot it and say that it's not like any Beretta that they've ever shot. And that is a fair statement coming from anybody. So how's the recoil on this? Not bad at all because of the weight. It's such a heavy gun that it doesn't really move much. But um, your follow-up shots are just spot on every time. Accuracy from anywhere from 5 to 25 yards is spot on. You can take it out to 100 and still, with iron sights, hit steel plates. So definitely a pretty cool collector gun if you're into Berettas and stuff like that. Um, I don't know that they'll continue making these after a couple of years. So if you want to get your hands on one, I would try to scoop one up. I would recommend getting the optics ready version just because if you're, say, for instance, you have a situation like I did. You didn't shoot optics before you just like good old iron sights and then you for some reason decide to change your mind and want to put an optic on it you have that option um, unlike me otherwise I could get this mill which I don't really want to do or sell it lose money and try to get another one and pay more money doesn't really make sense for me so I've just been running the irons and doing just fine with it so just that's my personal advice for you guys um, pros and cons start with the pros uh, Definitely like the finish, the fact that it comes with two different type of grips. The performance trigger is absolutely amazing in this gun. And we can go over the trigger, break, and reset real quick. So a little bit of a wall there. Super short break right there. And then reset is so short it's not even funny. As you can see, you can imagine the follow-up shots are... Quite impressive on this gun. Double action pull, I'll give you a look at that too real quick. So a little bit heavier on the double action, obviously, but that's perfectly fine with me. That that trigger break is just amazing in single action. Um, whenever I'm shooting uh, USPCA, I have the hammer back safety on, so I'll drop in my holster, disengage the safety as I'm presenting, and then go right into action there. Um, Overall, this gun is just amazing. I'm a huge junkie for, you know, 
movie accurate firearms and all the movies I've seen this in, Die Hard, you know, Rush Hour, Beretta has been like the center of most cop guns in most movies. And it's just something about it, the nostalgia behind such a huge piece of history and movie culture. I just had to get one and I plan on keep this one for quite a while. Probably will never get rid of it. Um, so yeah, definitely would recommend it if you're into collecting guns. I'm not really a huge fan of bumps in the back of the grip module on a pistol. It feels kind of awkward in my hands, but I'm starting to get used to it. Um, with the grip tape, it definitely takes a lot of that awkwardness out of the grip for me. So that's something I kind of figured out to do. Um, definitely liked running this gun competition. I am looking to potentially try out the CZ Shadow 2, see how I do with that. And I really would like to get my hands on the Lago Alien. So stay tuned. If I get one of those this year, you guys will get to see a review on that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of cool content on the way, more Beretta products. Gonna do an update on the Beretta A300 Ultimate Patrol. I got that all suited out. Got a, a optic on there, sling, attachments, everything. It's set up and ready to go, so be on the lookout for that. Stay tuned, we'll see you guys next time.